हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू जी ए पी एल सॉफ्टवेयर टॉक आई एम संजय चौधरी एंड आई एम वर्किंग विथ जी ए पी एल एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑन क्रिएट न्यू कंपोनेंट्स एंड डिफाइन टूल्स इन विच हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट न्यू कंपोनेंट इन डिफरेंट वे सेकेंड वन इज टाइप्स ऑफ सिलेक्टर इन विच हाउ कैन वी यूज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिलेक्टर इन दी एप्लीकेशन थर्ड इज इंस्टॉल bootstrap and jquery we will install bootstrap and jquery packages using the npm and last one is router links we will learn how to set routing urls so stay connected with us till the end to know full details before we start our topic i would like to give some information about jpl jpl is a government organization JPL provides IT and IT enabled services to different government organizations. We provide informative video about government software and latest technology tutorials. To get latest video, please press on bell icon and subscribe our channel. Let's start our video by creating a new component. I have already created new application, so now create a new component. Run ng space g space g c then component name you can also write generate component then component name so we will create new component called home it will create four files dot uh, html dot spec file dot ts and dot css file and also update app dot module it will import in declaration part if you want to create new component inside a specific folder you can do it also for example you want to create employee salary component inside masters folder then you can type in and generate component masters employee salary you can see there is one folder masters inside master employee and salary components are created the component which is created by default will always remain the parent and next components created will form as a child component all the components will render within the router outlet tag which is in app dot component you need to define routes manually in app dot routing dot module ts so let's create route for home component import from home home component then add path in routes array so define path then path name going to home the reference component is home component and you can also add path match property to match exact path full if you want to first load home component with home root then you can add path redirect to home component then path match equal to full so whenever application will get slash it will simply redirect to home component now let's understand different types of selectors in angular create a new component called footer ng generate component footer you 
you can see the default selector of footer component is app footer so you can use app footer as a default selector we can add one component in another component using the selectors if you want to add footer component in app component then you can use it as the element tag and you can see footer component is added in app component the selector can be also used as an attribute by putting the selector into the square bracket we will add square bracket and in the app component take one div and add attribute as a app footer you can see footer is added as a attribute we have changed our selector to be as an attribute to access this type of selectors we have to put this attribute inside a div or some other tags the selector can be also used as a class just like css putting a dot in the beginning in the selector like this and use this app footer as a class in app component take div add class as a app footer you can see footer component is added as a css class now install bootstrap and jquery using the npm to install bootstrap write command npm install bootstrap if you want to install bootstrap specific version then you can also add at the rate then bootstrap version same way you can install jquery by the running command npm install jquery it will install jquery in the angular application and if you want to install jquery and bootstrap both then you can add bootstrap and press enter it will install bootstrap along with jquery after successful installation of bootstrap and jquery you can add bootstrap reference by corresponding link and script elements in an index file or you can also add file paths to the styles and scripts array in the angular.json file i have already added bootstrap main.css and jquery and bootstrap js i have added some html code to check whether bootstrap is applied or not you can see bootstrap classes are applied now let's create two new component to understand routing and router link we'll add new component and the general component contact us and one more component about us you can see these components are already added in app module we need to add routes in root file so add in a root file contact us component and about us you can use anchor tag along with the router link to set component links in different ways like a class then router link and root name you can also define a router link like this in a square bracket
you can add this root in TypeScript also. So let's define one variable. Type each string and assign the root and use this variable in an HTML. If you want to add one or more query parameters, you can add using query parameters like this add square bracket then query params equal to curly bracket add parameter name and parameter value you can see id equal to 1 to is array in a url if you want to add more parameters then type insert the another parameter type equal to insert is added you can see i have added router link active property equal to active to set active class of current url suppose i, I click on contact us then it will apply active class in contact us and home. In today's session, we have been covered how to create new component and define roles, add bootstrap and jQuery packages using npm, types of selectors and router links. We hope that you will find Angular demo useful and interesting in your work. By following this guide, you should be able to create new component, add bootstrap styles and classing also navigating between components hope all this information was helpful to you thank you for watching video for any it and it enabled services you can contact gapl with showing details on this screen if you like our video please like the video and share with your friends and family members we will meet you in our next video till then Stay safe, stay home and take care of yourself.